Welcome to Zen with Gwen Meditation Sessions. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn. This will be an awareness meditation and yoga nidra for lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is the practice of controlling one's dreams. It is thought of as a very advanced yoga practice. The reason for this is because it requires a keen awareness of your activities in waking life. It requires you to be hyper aware of being awake in each moment. That way you can discern reality from dreams. So not only do you have awareness while you're awake, but also while you're asleep. And in general, it's just a good meditation practice to develop awareness and also relaxation. This can be done as a traditional seated meditation, or you may like it as a walking meditation to bring awareness to your surroundings. Of course, please keep in mind, be safe while you do this and do not close your eyes if you are walking. And I wouldn't recommend this meditation while driving or completing a task that requires focus and concentration. Let's be sensible. And then let's start, as we often do, sitting up tall, being alert and attentive, yet relaxed. And let's take a couple of breaths here to start fresh. We'll check in with each of our five senses. Let's start with hearing. Stretch your ears to hear all the sounds far, far away. Then closer to yourself. And then any sounds even coming from yourself. Take a moment to notice that whatever you're hearing is happening in real life and not a dream. Bring your mind to your sense of smell. We don't usually smell things in a dream and it's one way to know for sure that you are in fact awake. Notice all of the smells around you. Notice the tastes inside your mouth. How do you know that they're real and you're not in a dream? If you're never aware of tasting things while you're dreaming, that kind of novelty can help to remind you that you're awake. You could even create some noises here, such as humming, clearing your throat, and noticing how accurate the sounds are once they hit your ears. If you were dreaming or even asleep, they may become distorted. Bringing your mind here to your sense of chronoception. This is our sense of time that we lose when we're asleep. You may even like to say out loud, it's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Bringing your mind to interoception. Any feelings that are coming up from inside your gut. Sensations of digestion or your heart beating. One popular practice is to plug your nose and see if you can still breathe in through it. 
if you do it often enough in your waking hours, you may find that while you're dreaming, you remember to plug your nose and that you're still able to breathe through it. Breath is a great way to check in with reality. Often in dreams, we can breathe even when we're underwater. So let's take a deep breath here. Proprioception, your sense of where your body is in space. Noticing where you are in the room you're in. You may like to open your eyes and look around the room and again state out loud where you are. I'm sitting on the floor of the living room. If you were dreaming, these things may be in constant flux. The height of the ceiling changing or the living room that you're in suddenly changes shape and becomes a shop that you frequent. In the dream world, this is a lack of continuity. You may like to open your eyes and notice that there is complete continuity in the room around you. Nothing is able to change shape or become distorted before your eyes. And this brings us to our sense of sight. Noticing that as you look around the room, everything remains unchanged. And finally, our sense of touch. You can take a moment here to reach out and touch something. An easy option would be to touch your thumb to each finger. And while you do this, you may like to take a look at your hands. Once more noticing that they do not change before your very eyes, as they may in a dream. Now with the eyes open or closed, let's take a minute to practice an open awareness meditation. So this allows your attention to flit from item to item. Whatever comes into your awareness, pay attention to that until something new comes into your awareness. So perhaps you notice your left knee is itchy. And then you notice that your breath is feeling a little restricted. Then you notice the flood of thoughts in your mind. And maybe you notice and reset your posture with your attention flitting from item to item, just noticing your body and the space that you're in.
Now let's prepare for Yoga Nidra. Theoretically, this could be done as part of your walking meditation and just omit any parts that ask you to relax or close your eyes. In Yoga Nidra, similar to lucid dreaming, the body stays completely still and restful but the mind stays awake. Repeating to yourself right now, I will stay alert, I am awake, three times. Now let's set a Sankalpa, or Resolve, to help with your lucid dreaming practice, if that feels like a good fit today. Let's find something that you feel encourages the occurrence of lucid dreaming. You may like something along the lines of, I'm really good at lucid dreaming. Or, when I realize that I'm dreaming, I become lucid. I am aware of my conscious state. I know I am awake when I am awake. I know I am dreaming when I am dreaming. When you have a Sankalpa that feels good for you, repeat it to yourself three times. Picture yourself achieving this Sankalpa. You have now planted a seed in your mind that will take root during Yoga Nidra and flourish and grow in your life. And now we begin a rotation of consciousness. We'll bring our attention through the whole body, starting with the right hand, bringing your awareness to the right hand thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, the entire right hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, tracing down the side of the ribs and the waist to the pelvis, right thigh, knee, lower leg, the entire right foot, all five toes, drawing awareness to the left hand, thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, the entire left hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, Tracing down the side of the ribs and the waist to the left side of the pelvis, thigh, knee, lower leg, entire left foot, all five toes. 
now to the back of the body, noticing the shoulder blades, the right side of the back, the left side of the back, the whole back. the back of the right arm, the back of the left arm, the back of both arms, the right side of the pelvis, the left side of the pelvis, the whole pelvis, the back of the right leg, the back of the left leg, the back of both legs together, the right heel, the left heel, the sole of the right foot, the sole of the left foot, both feet together. Noticing the back of the head, top of the head, forehead. Turning the eyes side to side here. The tip of the nose, the chin, throat. Right side of the chest left side of the chest, the center of the chest, navel center, the belly. Taking a deep breath into belly and ribs here. Picturing yourself lying in the space that you're in right now remembering as many details about the space as you can. Repeating to yourself once more, I am aware, I am awake. How do you know you are awake right now and not dreaming? No need to check the clock, but let's remind ourselves of our chronoception. What time is it where you are? What month and year is it? Noticing proprioception. Where are you in the room that you're in? Interoception. What messages are coming to you from inside your body? Let's work with the breath. Noticing that your breath is flowing in and out. You can keep focusing on the breath at the nostrils or I'll offer you a visualization for single nostril breath. Picturing that we are inhaling through the left nostril and exhaling from the right. Inhaling left and exhaling from the right. The style of breath encourages a deeper state of relaxation. We'll work with opposites here, imagining that you have been teleported to a hot climate. Picture this destination in great detail. 
Imagine how your body would feel hot, hot, hot. Now picture yourself being teleported to a freezing cold climate. Once more, picture this destination in detail all around you. Notice how your body feels cold, cold, cold. Once more, you're back in the space that you're in, but now your body is feather light. You may like to imagine yourself being made of feathers or balloons, and that at any moment you could float off the floor. Or maybe you picture yourself riding in a hot air balloon And now, whatever is giving you the power to be light starts to fade, and you become heavy. Landing back on Earth, and now you're feeling weighed down. Maybe your body has grown larger, or maybe you're wearing incredibly heavy clothing, or carrying a heavy knapsack. Once more, picture yourself in the room that you're in, but your body begins to change. Maybe your outfit changes, your hair color or skin tone. You could even imagine yourself looking in a mirror and noticing these changes. Once more, imagine yourself lying in the space that you're in, but everything has become dark. So dark you can barely see. But gradually, everything becomes illuminated, almost as though the items around you are made of light. And finally, come back to the space that you're in, picturing yourself in true-to-life detail. Once more tuning into proprioception, reminding yourself where you are in space. You may even like to remind yourself where in the world you are. Allowing your body to be completely still and rest, but the mind stays active. I will name a quick succession of objects and picture them in your mind's eye for a moment. Palm trees. A sunset. A red rose. A snow-capped mountain. A golden retriever, a bowl of soup, a glass of wine, a smiling face, an envelope, a car, a bicycle, a chocolate bar an evergreen tree, a polar bear, a rock, a pair of shoes, a blanket, a daffodil, a beach, a beach ball, a 
last familiar face, a place you love to be. Repeating to yourself right now, I will stay alert, I am awake, three times. And let's repeat your Sankalpa three times again. And again, let's come back to that breath visualization, inhaling through the left nostril and exhaling through the right, allowing your body to give in to the stillness and relaxation, feelings of restfulness and peace. And we'll count backwards from 20 with our breath visualization in through the left nostril and out through the right. Like this, inhaling 20, exhaling 20, inhaling 19, exhaling 19, and so on until we get to zero. Remembering that if you fall asleep, that is a-okay and you probably needed it. Feel free to stay as you are for as long as you like, and then gradually bring yourself back to the waking world. Thank you so much for joining me. From my light to yours, namaste.